Captain Valen here with day two of the 30 day One Piece challenge. Today we're going to talk about my favorite villain, which is also one of my favorite characters, and that's Akiyumi. That dude is amazing. First of all, I know people hate him, alright? I understand that, like, there's droves of people that hate him, but I never did. Because I, 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 I haven't been in the military, but I've been a soldier, and if people understand what that means, like, then you understand what that means. And sometimes you got to do some shit you don't necessarily want to do because you had because it just needs to get done and you're the person that has to do it. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> and and I think uh, the fact that we s the a lot of the hate that uh, Akaina gets is re revolves around that Buster call of Ohana, and that's and that's super fair. But he was like what, a vice admiral or a rear admiral or some shit. I think Vice Admiral, uh, but he couldn't say no. He couldn't be like, yeah, give that to somebody else. You know what I mean? He did it because he was told to do it, because that's his job, because that's <clears throat> what he signed up for. You know what I mean? Granted, I'm, I'm sure when he got it, he was like, sweet, I can't wait to blow up islands full of, you know, innocent people. Don't get me wrong. I, I fully don't believe that. I believe, I believe something bad happened because somebody didn't listen and Akainu's, like, family or island or whatever paid the price for it. And since then, it's been absolute justice. And I think that that's important. Now, that's that's completely unfounded. That's my own mental narrative to make me feel better about liking him, I guess. But the truth is, he's done a lot of things. Like, the thing people hate him for most, blowing up that boat full of civilians. If, say, two or three um, Ohara scholars actually did get on that boat... And made it to different islands. What would have happened to those islands? They would have been buster calls. That means two or three more islands worth of people. Because they can't risk who else they told. Period. They cannot risk that. Alright? They were going to blow up uh, NS Lobby. Because they couldn't let Robin get out. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Just because it's underplayed now that she's a straw hat. For all of her life. If she was found. The risk of a buster call was a real fucking thing. You know what I mean? And... I think that that's, that's kind of gotten lost. And it got overshadowed. I think her part of it got slightly overshadowed by the fact that, you know, I kind of was like, blow up that ship. If even one gets out, then all of this was for nothing. And do you understand that fucking statement? If, we, if, if one of them gets away, then we did all of this for nothing. It means he knows what he's doing is fucked up. He knows he doesn't want to be doing what he did. But he, know, but he did it because he's a fucking soldier. And when you're a soldier, you got a fucking job to do. And that's all there is to it. You don't have to like that job. You have to do that job. I mean, shit, I've done roofing in July. I've done framing in Florida in August. Like, I've done jobs I hated, but I had to do. You know what I mean? So that I could eat. And I think people, like, you don't have freedom when you're in the military. People are like, oh, everybody's got a choice. Yeah, everybody's got a choice. All right? Some people chose to help. Talking to you, Jaguar D. Saul, and look what happened to him. All right, and then of course, uh, Chili Nuts there, kind of you know let her go. But the truth is that what it led her for an entire life of hardship, like twenty eight years of being on the run, being untrusted, being having to never uh, be safe or settled in any single place for more than a minute, really, because if somebody who's seen your your like, sorry, I'm getting off. I'm going off on Robin. She'll get her time. But Akainu, and there's a reason he, he, I don't think he wants leadership as much as people think. I think he's one of the people that have leadership thrust upon them because of how he behaves. And I think that's, uh, that people, and if he was offered the position, it, and yeah, he would fight for it. And it's not because he wants it. It's because, A, he was offered it, which means... Like, or he was put up for it. I guess we'll talk about, you know, the promotion. And I've already talked about the fight um, in a video. You can look for that. Uh, I don't know how to do the boxes up here or over there or here or down there or wherever. But I'm, I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn, I promise. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I'll try and put a link in the description to the video of how that fight went or how I think that fight went. Because, I, I'll spoiler alert, I don't think I kind of won. But yeah, since he's moved to, since he's uh, become uh, the commander.
commander in chief dude or whatever. Wait, what is it? It's the leader of the uh, world military. He he moved the capital to the new world to show people that we're done letting things slide. All right, he has a huge sense of justice, but that doesn't mean he's been out buster calling islands. There's a whole island of pirates that could be buster called that we just saw Blackbeard on, but it wasn't. And it's not just because Blackbeard was there. All right, Blackbeard's dope, but a buster call is a fucking buster call. All right, that's a full armada of ships. Even Blackbeard without his armada, and it didn't look like it was anywhere around. We got the big picture. We saw Moria's ship there, and we didn't see too much, too many other gigantic ass ships. Okay. So if they wanted to, they could buster call that island, but they're not because I honestly believe that that's not absolute justice, and that's not a kind of way of justice. That's sloppy justice, if it's anything. It's I'm gonna kill everything to stop this one thing, but. Yeah, that's, that's really it. Akainu is the kind of person that does the thing that has to be done and then takes all the blame for it, even though somebody else told him to do it. And somebody else literally forced him to do the thing that he did. Because if he didn't follow the order, he would be punished. He would be thrown in the brig or some sh like that. You know what I mean? Like, you got to understand, you can't just not follow military orders. Like, <laughs> that's... Some people get away with it, but they have a different sense of justice. Like, that's not... I, I, I kind of couldn't live with himself if he let Robin get away. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And that's why I kind of is my favorite villain. Because he does the things he has to do, not because he wants to, but because he genuinely believes that they have to be done. And now that he's actually in charge, he... <clears throat> I, there hasn't been many examples of what he's done, all right? But he's shown he's not foolhardy and bloodthirsty by saying, wait up, let's not go to, um, let's not go to Wano yet. Let's take a second, assess their strength, and then move forward accordingly. And this, again, this is a person who everybody, throughout his, throughout Marine Ford, everybody, he was just killing his own people because they were in his way. Like, he really didn't care. Like, he was, he was gonna murder Kobe. Because Kobe told him to stop and got everybody else to chill for a second. And, yeah, like, he was going to straight up murder Kobe because what he did was technically treason. And you probably shouldn't, you know, break high marine law in front of Akainu. And, yeah, man, it's just, <clears throat> he's my favorite. Man. He's not only, I mean, obviously, he's ridiculously strong. Like, the power that this man possesses and controls is ridiculous. I think he could take Blackbeard. I know, I know. Everybody's flipping out, okay? But Ace, remember, Ace doesn't have hockey in a controllable sense. He's demonstrated conqueror's hockey, all right? But, but he, he, he doesn't have armament. He didn't have uh, observation. So we don't know the effects of hockey when Blackbeard has a hold of you. And we know for a fact that Akainu has it, all right? So, yeah, Blackbeard could grab him, but the truth is that may work out worse for Blackbeard. Like, yeah, he's got the rumble rumble fruit, but I don't know. Akainu knows how to fight it. He's he's had experience with it. Now, I don't think Blackbeard's going to use it in the same way, and I'll do another video on that later. But, yeah, people aren't giving him the amount of credit that he deserves. And, uh, it's all because he's a he's a government dickbag. Like that that's in the description of what he's been through. So yeah, but really that's the end of it for me. Uh, a kind who's my favorite villain. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, tell me your favorite villain in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and remember, life happens at uh, <laughs> like I haven't said this enough. Life happens in every direction. So try and be prepared. All right, guys, take care.